Hello, this is Vicki Simons with TruckDriversMoneySavingTips.com. You may have seen this hat that uh, I had a video of while it was being made. This is the first time I've had the opportunity to wear it uh, since uh, it has been made, and I'm great, grateful to be able to do so. We have over 1,400 pages of information on how professional truck drivers can save money on our website and a lot of that needs to be put into video format and I'd like to be able to engage with you. Thank you for all of your um, all of your feedback, all of your comments, all of your the money saving tips that you have shared with other professional drug drivers and the reviews of the showers, the restaurants, and the fuel islands at the various truck stops where you are uh, getting these services. Uh, this helps other professional truck drivers know what you value and uh, the things that you have liked or disliked about them. Uh, we've gone into a great deal of detail in order to help you be able to access, uh, or shall I say ass assess, uh, the various parts of these services. So anyway, let's get going here, and I want to be able to share this tip with you. Uh, first of all, I may have mentioned that it's been extremely hot here in South Carolina lately, and it has been uh, in the uh, southern states of the United States this summer. And, of course, as it is hot, uh, you need to be able to stay well hydrated, okay? Uh, becoming dehydrated is a serious, serious health concern, and you do not want to become dehydrated. Uh, one of the ways that when my husband Mike uh, was on the road, when he, uh, you've probably seen this in some of the um, the photos on the truck drivers money saving uh, tips dot com, it was it's a Bubba keg, and the Bubba keg has the ability to be able to help keep cold the uh, fluids cold and uh, hot fluids hot. Okay, for a certain period of time. Of course, it does have a you know a lifespan of how long it would do that. As does any cooler or ice chest. And the thing about it is, is um, in order to be able to help him stay hydrated, Mike would often fill his Bubba keg up uh, in the morning with ice. Uh, for, usually he, well, we found out over a period of time that the best way to be able to do that, uh, keep ice in the truck, was to use an ice chest and then also put in, uh, fill it up with water. Now, the thing about it is, is this particular Bubba keg is not designed uh, to be able to fit down in the cup holder of your truck. So they do have some of those that do fit down in the cup holder. They come in various sizes. In fact, uh, right now, as I'm, I'm recording this, on Friday, July 15, 2016, we have a featured product in the right-hand column of the truckdriversmoneysavingtips.com. It is one of the Bubba kegs there that you can buy through Amazon if you care to do that. Uh, you can also find some of these products for sale at truck stops. The price may or may not be competitive with what you can get on Amazon, but certainly if you need to buy something like that quickly, then please, by all means, get that at a truck stop. Keep your receipt because it's tax deductible tax deductible um, all of your receipts need to be kept in case there's a tax deductible um, item that this may or may not be tax deductible okay but anyway let me uh, direct you to the dr uh, the drinking water page of our website and why you need to stay hydrated uh, that there are just some real severe health issues uh, bodily issues that can happen when you do not uh, drink enough water. And when I say drink water, I do mean drink water. I'm not talking about coffee or tea or soda or cola, whatever you want to call it as far as um, a commercial something that has been canned or uh, you know bottled like that. I'm talking about water. Uh, you can buy uh, a gallon of you know pure water. Uh, just regular drinking water at most of these truck stops or if you have somewhere where you can actually fill it up from a decent uh, tap. I know that in the past my husband and I when we've gone to uh, truck stops or company terminals in order to be able to uh, get water we have filled up gallon jugs. I literally have filled up gallon jugs from a drinking fountain, a uh, water fountain there um, at one of the uh, the terminals. So I don't necessarily recommend getting your drinking water from the faucet inside a, a truck stop shower, okay, because that may or may not be pure enough to drink, although you probably could brush your teeth with it. But the thing about it is, is you do want to make sure that whatever you put into your body is good and pure. Now, uh, the situation boils down to also uh, with just staying cool enough, 
Okay, uh, we also have another page on our website. I go into a great amount of uh, detail about this. It's called a hot truck. If you want to look that up on our website, things that can happen to you when you become too hot. Okay, there are heat-related illnesses, which uh, but. The tip for tonight is to just stay hydrated, okay? It is extremely important uh, for you to have enough drinking water. Here's a question. How much water should I drink in a day? Now, you probably, at least when I was growing up, they said, well, drink eight, eight-ounce glasses of water a day. Is that doable for a professional truck driver? I would have to pull over and use the restroom more often because I have a small bladder. But the thing about it is, is uh, you need to drink enough to be able to keep your, uh, your body healthy, Okay, and so just bear that in mind. Every person's uh, intake of water may vary slightly. Just uh, watch out for any signs of dehydration in your life. Now, the Bubba Keg is not the only uh, product that you can use to um, uh, transport water in, but let me show you one feature of this that uh, I didn't even know at first. Okay, obviously this has a screw-on cap, okay, with um, a hole here for you to basically tip this up and drink from it. Be careful when you drink while you're driving. Okay, I have a, you know, a page on our site about what happens when you uh, drink and drive while you're, um, or when you're eating and drinking while you're driving. Okay, you can get into some real troubles when you're distracted and driving. But anyway, this particular cap on here, I did not know for the longest time that this will fit on two ways. Okay, obviously it screws on. Uh, but the thing about it is, is this is fit, uh, has been uh, designed for both left-handed and right-handed uh, people. Okay, so in other words, uh, the, the way that, that Mike uses it, if he is right-handed and, and will drink from it this way, or if you if you do it just um, another, uh, just um, 180 degrees out, it will also work for the left-handed uh, drivers. So uh, at least with this particular uh, jug, that's the way that it works. And we want to be sensitive to our left and right-handed uh, truck drivers out there. So anyway, this tip, uh, please stay hydrated, especially when it's very, very hot outside. Uh, you want to do that anytime, uh, but especially in the summer months when it's extremely warm outside, uh, pay attention to yourself. If you're outside working, for example, if you're unloading a trailer, loading a trailer, uh, if you're doing your pre-trip inspection around your truck, just watch your uh, your when you when you sweat, you're going to be losing some of your body fluid. So replace that and make sure you take uh, good good care of your body. I really appreciate the opportunity to be able to meet with you, and we're planning on doing a lot of these uh, right now. The plan is to do them at nine o'clock, um, just about every night. So I look forward to you uh, interacting with me. And uh, we plan on helping truck drivers save a lot of money. Don't throw yourself in the hospital by becoming dehydrated. And I know of someone who that happened to. So um, uh, the daughter of a friend of mine that I used to work with. All right. Uh, until next time, uh, my husband Mike and I wish you great wellness, purpose, and abundance, and safe travels and lots of money-saving opportunities on the road. Thanks.